everyone. I've got something different to show you. Elephants? Elephants? How is this one of my next diamond painting ideas? In just a few minutes, I'll show you. Stick with me, youngins. Hello, everybody. I'm back and I've got a whole nother idea that I seen online. Yes, it's ceramic. It is a ceramic elephant and it is not painted or anything. It's just rough. And I got the elephant at Target. You know, I do my Target runs. I love my Target runs. Cause see, that's where I, I and, and a llama. They even had a dinosaur one, and my daughter was like, get the dinosaur one, it's so cute. Get the dinosaur one. And I'm like, I, I don't want to do a dinosaur one. How am I supposed to use diamonds on a dinosaur? But she said it was so cute. And I almost bought, I went back yesterday, and I saw them. These are in the dollar section. I'm thinking that they're $3, you can see on the bottom. They're $3.00. The three dollars. I hope that it's a three dollars a piece. Okay. Now, what inspired this crazy thing? What inspired this idea? And and they also had these little vases. Okay. I was on AliExpress looking for other ideas of diamond paintings. See, some people do clocks. They have like three D. Oh, you know. They're clocks, and then you embellish them with the diamonds that come with it. And it's a little DIY kit. <clears throat> and then I saw this. This is a teddy bear diamond painting thing. And it's 3D. And it, the only reason they say 3D is because it's sculpture. I don't know if that is cloth or if it's ceramic. It's a great idea. I thought, hey, that is a great idea for leftover diamonds that if you have like just forever leftover diamonds, like I've, I've, I'm getting there, I've got a lot. And I have a friend, Tina Livingston Burney, I think is her name. If I, if I butchered your name, I'm so sorry. But she sells diamond sparklers, diamond sparklers. And, and I will put the link on how to get them. And they're the special, the special kind of diamonds that sparkle diamond painting with sparklers is i think her facebook page and you can order from her and her family packs it now i put it in one of these i put this one in one of these because it was in there was so many and you get all of these and i've i've, I've shown them in some of my other videos but see this one's a peacock color and you can see and it comes in these beautiful little baggies um and there's a red and they're crystal some of the crystal and the aurora borealis is what they are and i've probably bought like she's got more that since i've been buying i haven't bought any in a, in a little while because i haven't used these yet but i now know what I'm going to use them on, on some of my paintings, and, and, um, they're just beautiful colors, and I'm so excited, um, I've got those, and then I've got this whole, and it, you know, all of these, silver, pewter, these are the metals, oh, I'm sorry, I'm way over here, you can't see, <laughs> yell at me, Y'all let me in my hear you. And then, you know, we've got some that's um, a red uh, Aurora Borealis, meaning it has like a uh, rainbow effect over the color that it is. So whenever it turns in the, the light, you should see a little bit of that Aurora Borealis color. It may not come through very well. But you know what I'm talking about. So, but you can buy these from her. And 
switch out some of the picture like if you buy some real colorful pictures and you just don't want the matte the regular colors you can switch it out with these on your diamond paintings so most of the, all of these are round I think I had some that were she she now has some for squares so when she first started they just had, came in the for the round so I need to get some square ones now but yeah I love these and I've got a bunch of these so and I'm thinking wouldn't that be pretty to make this sucker in Aurora Borealis beads with that peacock color or and then you know I can make it have like a fancy saddle on there that or blanket you know they have on them and it's a little planter I'm gonna put a little succulent in there and the little llama already has a little saddle on there if you can see that you can see his little saddle on there you see there yep so these will be really pretty you could paint them um, and then put uh, the diamonds on where you just want to you don't have to do the whole thing diamonds if you didn't want to do the whole thing diamonds and then you have these little these little um, vases and would that not be a pretty gift to give somebody that you've you've used your little le leftover diamonds I mean you could make them you could actually do like a, a spiral around them or, or shapes or whatever um, it, there's so much ideas you can do with these and I mean you could give this whole thing to somebody or you could just give one to each person I mean great idea great idea isn't it um, so I want to just quickly share that with you that's a great idea I wished I could get that teddy bear and I probably will eventually but they they're pretty pricey um, I'll have to put up how much they cost the little teddy bear but uh, I, I was really I come that close to getting it but I've got some other things that I wanted to show you too that I have gotten in and I've been looking a lot for a lot of different crafts and different things to do uh, and look at this this is a book I know it's not gonna look like a book from the box but it let me see I'm trying to see how to show you maybe I'll get a picture and put it on here but anyways this is a this is the box that this thing come in it is a DIY mini book mini world uh, puzzle and I hope that you um, it's not a puzzle I'm sorry but it's a little book that you put get look at all these little bitty things in there look at all that that comes with it to be put together and we're gonna glue all of that together and it comes with a little light bulb but what it's gonna do is it's let me see it's it's a book that looks like this on the outside this little these little books and the one that's in this one and I'm trying to keep it from falling out is this fireworks one that's the one that I've got in there it looks like it's in Italy that town that has the water canals and all I'm just so excited on doing this one when you open it up it looks like uh, the town and there's fireworks and everything and all the little you, you do all the little little houses and everything in there and it even has the little little gondolas a gondola you can see the little gondola right here yeah it's right there in that canal thing and you see all the little houses and everything in there but all the stuff comes with it all the little things that you're going to use the sa sandpaper to sand down some of the wood and it, it does have plexiglass and the plexiglass has like a cover you know to keep it from getting scratched and shipping 
And then here's your wooden pieces. More wooden pieces that are cut out. They, it's pre-cut and you just pop them out. An instruction booklet. More stuff to make it. And this is the, the dust jacket of the book. The cover of the book. So that's what it's going to look like on the outside. But it also comes with other things in there. So it's really an elegant little uh, looking book. So I thought that was very interesting, very neat. I know I need to get back into doing a diamond painting. I've got one little DIY thing that I wanted to do before I did. And it's a little tin box, little house for little rabbits or mice or whatever. And then I've got something else too that came. These are DIY. Now you see how they... They, they don't ship very well, do they? <laughs> Look at that box. Look how flat. I mean, it's, but it's okay. This is a DIY house, and it doesn't have the picture on it. It's just in a box. That's nice. Airmail! Airmail! Do that, airmail! It's in a bag. Airmail. Did customs get in this and use it a different thing? I mean, honestly. But it's got all the information, all the, it's got all the little items that you need to build this. What this is, I'll get a picture up right here. So, here's the plexiglass. Well, no, that's not plexiglass, is it? No, that's the base. That's the, always the base. And then you've got all the wood that's already cut out. You just pop it out and glue it when it tells you to. Battery pack, it's got a light in there. And don't don't fret, it's not hard to do the lights. You just got the little light, one side. They're colored, really easy to put together. Look at the look, look, look. Oh, I remember what this one is. This is the little ramen shop. It's a little ramen shop. You know, I did a chocolate shop. This one is a little ramen shop, and you can see the little bowls of ramen in here that's going to be going in, in, the, in the little shop. Oh my gosh, my daughter is going to die. She's going to love this. She's going to want this. This may be a present for her. So, and here's some rocks and some moss decoration. And here's some stuff for flowers and some of the, the, they do give you the fabrics and things. And this has also got the um, templates. And there's the wallpaper or for the floor. So it does come with everything you need. Maybe not the glue. And you know, I don't like to use the white glue anyways that they would put in here. And then this is a little something in there that goes in there it must be a little box or something it says I love you on it I don't know where that goes but it's in there and then a little plastic this must be the box that goes with it I'm sorry um I have been off and on every week or every week my respiratory keeps coming back thank God my kidneys have a problem hadn't come back so it's just been hard been very weak but I'm still trying young and some still trying for y'all and see here's some more stuff that comes with it little things but we'll go in when I do this I'll show you more in depth and here's another little thing for the, the lighting and here is what it looks like ah they've got a nice little this is your instruction booklet that they they show you what all comes with it and then they'll go step by step on how to make it how to glue it together and it's a little oh, I love it it's a food truck <laughs> look at this little food truck it's a ramen food truck youngins and you buy your ramen there, and it's got little cherry blossom trees. It's from Japan. Oh my gosh. 
isn't that the cutest thing? And I just now saw something in this little packet. Look at that. Look, look. I don't know if you can see it. But this right here, <laughs> it's a little, it's a teeny tiny shell or whatever they're going to use it for. It's teeny tiny, teeny tiny. I love these things. They drive me insane when I'm trying to make them because I have big hands. And I don't do very well with little things. But I love them so they're so cute. When you finally get them done, you're like, oh, this is so cute. I can't believe I did this. So, yeah. <laughs> and that's what comes in this bigger box. It's the little food truck. The little ramen food truck. Okay, now here comes a new, another, ooh, this one's heavy. That one's heavy. Oh, wow. That's got a lot in it. This is the little Japanese sushi store. I think it's a sushi store. It's a mini house kit. Uh, and that's what it looks like here. If you can see it through that paper. Let, let me let me open it up. I hate to don't want to spill anything out because you man alive. This one's going to be really in depth. I got a piece of plastic on it. Don't want to lose nothing. Don't want to lose nothing. Okay, and you notice there's some wallpapers and stuff in there that you're going to cut out and you're going to paste on. Um, and here we go. So, I don't know if you can see. I hope you can see it. I really do. All the different details and this one even has uh, vending machines they're really big on vending machines in in Japan they even have ramen soup vending machines uh, you can get all kinds of food uh, things and if you want to hop over and check out uh, what's his name? Oh, got his name. Oh, well, anyways, this guy goes around to all their little 7-Elevens and little vending machines and eats their food. So, I did go through some DIY doll houses. This is what book one. This one is an actual full store, a little sushi shop. And this one was a little food truck, a little ramen food truck. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy these. I'll leave the links in the, the description below for you to get these if you would like to. Go to your Target, run and get you a llama, get you an elephant, and if you want a dinosaur, it comes in dinosaur too. And they've got these little pretty little little uh, vases. If they haven't been picked out real quick, I noticed that they had gotten more in, more shipment in. So run if you want to make a pretty little succulent planter for people out of your leftover diamonds. Great idea. And I'll try to leave as much information below for you. Let me know if there's anything that you have a question about. The sparklers. The Aurora Borealis Sparklers. Let me know if you want information on how to get those. I'll, I'll put that down in there. And if you have any trouble, just shoot me uh, a message, a comment, whatever. I try to check it as often as I can if I'm not feeling bad. You know, if I'm feeling bad, I know. You know, I'm like, okay, I need to sleep. I, I just fall asleep and then I may, may sleep like Rip Van Winkle for forever. I don't know. You might find me at the base of a tree somewhere. I won't have a big beard like him, though. Hopefully not. My hair might be really long, though, like Goldilocks. Not Goldilocks. Rapunzel. That's who I'm talking about. Rapunzel. It'd be thin, though. Gosh. If I had long hair like hers and as thin as mine is, oh, my goodness. It'd be like, ick. I found a spider's nest. 
There's a woman over here, and it's her hair. Oh, man, I thought it would. Thank God, I'd hate to see the spider that wove that thing. Yeah, that would be my hair. I wouldn't have that long, flowing, beautiful hair that, taint, that uh, Rapunzel had in that movie. No, mine would be like a, a, it would be like a spider's nest. They could use me on Lord of the Rings. For the spider. Do you have thin hair? Then you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I hope y'all had fun. I did. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and, and hit the, the notification so you'll know whenever I put up a new video. Cross fingers, I'll have plenty to do. Thank you so much. Bye.